Today we're going to tie the uh, Royal Gorgeous Caddis pattern. Um, it's a real simple pattern and um, real easy to work with. What I've done to start off with is I got some wire and what I'm using is a medium um, chartreuse UTC wire. Um, you can use different colors on this but again this is just the main one that I use. And what I've done is I cut off a piece about six, seven, or eight inches long. I'm going to secure the the wire on the vise here with my thumb. I got a uh, 2457 hook in the in the vise with a tungsten bead, 2.4 millimeter. And what I do with this wire is again I secure it on the uh, the vise. And I'm using my bigger jaws on this so I can make sure that that hook doesn't come out, doesn't move around. And what I do is I p place the, the hook in there so the midpoint of the bend is, is, is exposed out of the jaws. And then with some good tension on there, I'm just wrapping this wire up the hook shank with tight wraps okay once I get up to the bead I sneak it in there okay if I can get one more in there I will then I like I can let go of that wire there on the back end and up here I wedge it in there once I do that I break it off with my hands now you have a little space behind this if you have a lot of space, that bead will move around. I don't have a, a ton of space, so what I do is I come in here and I get it with my finger and I push it up. That does, like I said, if you have um, a lot of space in there, it um, helps you to push it all the way up and then you expose a, a space for a wrap or two back here. I just have enough space for one wrap, grab it, and usually I use pliers but you can use your fingers just like that and it breaks it right off so if you stop pull that out and put it in your box and fish it it would it would catch fish okay um, we're gonna go one more step here I'm using um, this is 6 aught, but usually I use 8 aught thread black or you can use olive it really doesn't matter and then what I have here is some of my dubbing mix that I've made and this is a special mix that I made for this fly what it consists of is um, the Montana Fly Company, um, I think it's Swisher's Generation X in olive color. What it has is a bunch of those black fibers in there, little tiny rubber legs. And what I do is I get a bag of that and I get a bag of olive hair zero dubbing from Hairline or whoever, um, just a natural dyed olive and mix those two together one bag of each and then what I put in here was some ice dub now it was an olive holographic ice dub however um, hairline um, no longer makes it so I need to find something else to do you can probably skip it it just adds a little bit of flash but if you find something else that you like you can add it in there and just kinda of play around but you can see that that flash is a real nice holographic flashy material so what I do is I grab some of that dubbing off and it has real fine strands of rubber in there and they can get kind of long um, you just want to dub it on pretty thick and I'm going roughly to the 50 50 percent point on the hook shank and I'm kinda of just piling this on pretty tight and pretty heavy there okay right behind the bead come back sneak in there, stroke all that back, sneak in there behind the um, behind the bead there and then just tie it off okay and then put a few wraps and then just cut it off okay so that's basically it the only other item I do on this is I rough it out and what I do to rough it out is I get a piece of velcro okay this happens to be attached to my hat right now but I've cut off a piece to usually work with and I just get that and I just brush that out again that's why you want to dub it on there fairly heavy at first is because you'll pull some of this material out and then if it's not on there if it's loosely 
wrapped around your thread, it's, it's going to all pull out, and you don't want that. So basically, I'm just sweeping that back. And again, you want to make sure that you do put that thread right behind that bead so it doesn't get exposed to get um, to get pulled out and broken. Now, I just grab some of these and just cut them so they're not so long. And that's basically it. Now, it looks pretty buggy and bushy right now, but when, once it gets wet, it gets a really cool look to it. Now, the only other thing I do for these is I can tie them in a um, chartreuse and olive coloration. So you can see you get a little bit more um, color segmentation looking to it. And that looks pretty cool. So either way, they, they both fish really well. There's not much difference, just a little color difference there. But they both fish really well. Again, tungsten to get them down deep in the water. And I usually follow it with um, another, uh, or a BWO emerger, or even a BWO nymph. Um, and then I usually drop this off the back end of a hopper, and that's a really fun way to fish a lot of these these uh, rivers in, in my area. So there it is, the size 16 tungsten beadhead, royal gorgeous caddis.